hey guys how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here karibu sana and if you're coming back thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos <laughs> but guys uh niseme kama commentator sindia ah uh, mpenzi mtazamaji <laughs> niko maeneo fulani maeneo ambayo inaitwa dala nyumbani na niko na mrembo mmoja amazing sana mrembo salimia watu hi guys <laughs> wafanye nini please please guys kindly subscribe like share comment don't forget to comment <laughs> don't forget to comment so guys that is my sister so niko nyumbani and guys i want to take you somewhere sacred somewhere that has a very unique and interesting story so stay tuned because like a lot more <laughs> <laughs> like nicolas kioko always say a lot more <laughs> is coming <laughs> so guys Watch to end. Let me take you there and let's see. So guys, over there, that is where we are going. Kwa Mlima Pale. That is where I'm taking you. So let's keep going. So guys, eh hii place ni mbali ni Mlima tumepanda. So tumefika this primary school. Bua nje. Na so far at Sijuiji ya I can't remember the last time I was here over 10 years ago. So itabidi tu niingie hapo kwa shule and then in the direction. So let's go. Okay. So I had to get in and the gate man here is giving me directions. Initially people used to go there through the school but right now it is fenced all over the secondary and the primary school have been fenced so lazima nirudi nyuma Not so far from here. So guys, I'm at crossroads. Kuna njia ya kupanda juu kwa mlima and there is one branching on the left side. So first of all, tulienda na hiyo njia ya this one. The one that was going on the left. Actually, this was the right path. But uh, on reaching somewhere, Tuliona like the bushes were so thick, thick and quiet. Normally watu wakiomba huko huwa unasikia sauti za watu wakiomba, but the place was so quiet and the bushes were so thick. So we decided to go back and uh, take the one that was going up the mountain. <laughs> So guys, to lifika hapa and this place, uh, there are two hills, one on the right and one on the left. So we climbed both the hills and 
we sat down at some point to kaka juu tulikuwa tumechoka we are not seeing any homestead around hakuna mali tunaweza enda tuulizie so we decided to cross over and uh, kulizia kama tunaweza pata maboma i even used a google map inaniambia sijui niende southwest niende wapi i didn't even know where i am ni south ama west east or north i didn't even know so we had to look for a homestead and luckily we found one <laughs> eh hey. hey, guys Tumetafuta njia tumetafuta njia tumekosa. So finally we are in someone's home here. So the lady has told us to wait kidogo amalize shughuli fulani atupeleke. Tuko na njaa ana <laughs> So we talked to the lady and she tells us that when she got married here she was told that uh, it is God who made this place. She says uh, it is just a name that people have given this cave that uh, it is purported to be a hyena's cave and so people come from all over from everywhere from all over Kenya from Uganda Tanzania just to come and uh, pray in this particular cave so people always come for prayer and fasting here so the time or the length of the time or days that people take here depends with the how someone decided before coming here kwamba there are some people who take uh, as long as three weeks two weeks or one week or even three days and again she tells us that when they come they don't eat she adds that when someone finishes uh, the prayer and fasting session if you're lucky to have a relative around or well wishers around they cook tea like herself she says that she prepares tea and bring to them so at least they can find something to buy it before they can start their journey back and uh, on the issue of water the people who are staying around here always bring them water or uh, they can also go to the nearby school the school that you saw and uh, they get water for drinking and also bathing So this is it guys we are here to Mefika. The lady tells us that inside the cave there are spaces or rather rooms where people stay and pray. We find this lady outside here getting some sun because it's cold very cold inside and because the previous night it had rained so she tells us she's called Maureen and she's come all the way from Kisi County, a place called Nyakoi. So she has come here for prayer and fasting. She's only taking water and not eating any food. She says she has a lot of burdens in her heart that she has to come here and find a long time with God because at home or in the church it is difficult sometimes to find good time 
with God. So she has decided to come here just to spend quality time with God and to pray and to meditate. So she's also telling us that uh, they get water from the nearby school and uh, they carry blankets and uh, sweaters just things that can help them keep warm. Maureen tells us that uh, right now there are not many people inside there. They are around four. Uh, we found two, her and uh, another lady also who was resting outside. And two other people were inside, a man and a woman. So guys, Maureen also adds that uh, during the rainy season or when the rain falls normally water seeps from the rooftop from the yeah it has a roof from the roof of the cave water seeps na droplets of water wa in a teremka chini so lazima wakue na magunia they have to put mats or uh, gunias they spread them on the floor to help prevent the cold from getting to them. I asked Maureen if they are allowed to start or put fire inside the cave because inside there is, she says, it's so cold. And uh, she says that uh, they don't do that. They can only light up fire outside where they are right now. If someone feels cold, that is the only place they can start a fire and uh, wapate joto. So just encouraging her and uh, telling her that uh, my prayer for her is that God, may God grant her the desires of her heart because guys, praying and fasting is not always an easy task it is difficult and uh, yes guys so let's go inside and see how it looks like so this is the entrance and uh, beside here i can see brooms uh, they use these brooms to sweep the floor of the cave. So from outside, guys, this is the view from the mouth of the cave. So I, like I said, the brooms, wanatumia ku sweep to clean inside here, guys. So I want us just to get in and uh, have a look how this place is is and guys it is so dark inside here and i didn't carry any light source of light or torch the only source of light i have is my phone's flashlight my phone's flashlights but i hope we are able to see so guys that is where they have placed their mats and the things to cover themselves bible there is a bible there and someone is also sleeping apple let's keep going i know i won't be able to because i don't have sufficient lighting mm -hmm. so these are mats that they use and that is the roof guys the roof of the cave and as you can see water droplets are their aqua walls that is why they have to place these uh, gunias to prevent cold 
this is where some people pray offer prayers there is a picture there there are match boxes i can see candles over there there is a a trough a basin i think they use those ones for prayers and the basin i think wanatumia kuoga and then there another place they wanatumia kulala containers for water are there more mat and then i think this is the farthest i could go guys my light could not allow me because it was a so alafu hapo ndani guys no signal no network you can't communicate with someone that is outside so guys i had to go back because i could not manage to move inside but it goes it goes for several meters inside so it depends what wanaenda huko ndani mali mtu anataka venye anataka so for me guys that is the point that i could or i managed to reach with you and so we had to go back outside but i'm glad that i was able to show you this place i was able to show you the inside part actually ukiwa ndani unaiza simama the entrance you have to bend to get in or to get out it is believed that god made this place divinely for his people to come and have time with him to have to worship him and uh, to just place the desires of their hearts before god so if you people come here from all parts of from east africa at at uganda tanzania people come here from all over kenya to come and just have time with god so guys kama unataka mahali pa kufanya prayer and fasting a cool environment no noise no nothing this is the place to be so guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video to the end stay tuned and guys if you have not yet subscribed kindly remember to subscribe and press on the notification bell so that each time a new video is up you will definitely be notified so guys until next time bye let's meet in my next one Shut up.